Alright, so we try to attempt this question from Catholic High, uh, one of its primary six preliminary papers. So at 9 a.m., okay, uh, underline all important information, circle the characters. John was cycling from point A to point B. Okay, at the same time, Mary was cycling from point B to point A using the same route as John. Now, uh, cycling at a speed of 4 km per hour faster than Mary, John would pass Mary uh, that was 300 meter away from the midpoint. What time did they pass each other? In a question like that, the moment you read the first line, straight away you draw. Okay, this is point A, this is point B. Okay, this is your midpoint. Okay, because okay, John would pass Mary 300 meter away from the midpoint so John would head this direction he started at 9 a.m. okay 300 meters away from the midpoint would be here okay uh, this is where they met okay this point here okay Mary Mary would head this direction okay um, and she also started at 9 a.m. one thing that's important is that we know that John cycled four kilometers per hour faster than Mary. So J's speed, John's speed is this much plus four kilometer per hour and uh, Mary's speed is actually this much. Okay so Shall, shall we represent this information here okay so since John can cycle at a speed of 4 km per hour faster than Mary that means in one hour John cycles 4 km more than Mary so in one hour of cycling John can cycle 4 kilometers more than Mary. Now in this particular scenario since John's speed was 4 km per hour faster okay he he would have been able to cycle 600 meters more than Mary because this is the midpoint okay okay so this this distance is equ let's call this d1 okay is equivalent to this distance here d2 so d1 is equals to d2 let me write it down here okay because let me reiterate because john was cycling at a speed of four kilometer per hour faster than mary he would have been able to cycle a distance that was equivalent to that of mary plus 600 meters more all right and since this is the midpoint that's why we know that we have to multiply by 2 because Mary's distance is short of the midpoint okay so John must have traveled a distance that was equivalent to this plus 600 meters all right so 600 meters if you divide it by a thousand is equal to 0 0.6 kilometers okay so if you take um, incremental distance over incremental speed okay incremental distance over incremental speed okay the incremental distance travel is 0 0.6 kilometers in this case okay and the incremental speed is 4 kilometers per hour which is here so 4 km per hour what you get is 0 0.15 hours now 0 0.15 hours is 0 0.15 times 60 which is 9 minutes what this means is that since in one hour John cycles four kilometer more than Mary, okay. If John cycles 0 0.6 kilometer more than Mary, what 
what how long would John take okay let me if John cycles 0 0.6 km more okay which is this particular scenario he would have taken okay definitely less than one hour so 0 0.6 divided by 4 which is 0 0.15 hour he would have cycled 0 0.15 hour of a journey which is equals to 9 minutes so this is another way that you can look at it so anyway uh, we are able to answer a now what time did they pass each other since they started at 9 a.m. okay so 9 a.m. you add 9 minutes you get 9.09 a.m. so that's the first answer B John took another 3 minutes to reach point B so John took 9 minutes here no no let me erase this John took uh, okay there's not much space uh, let me try and squeeze from this point to the point where he met Mary he took nine minutes all right so oh it looks pretty messy so let me do it again from this point to this point he took nine minutes and guess what the question says that he took three minutes more so from this point to this point John took another three minutes okay John took another three minutes but guess what Mary took nine minutes to come from here to here alright Mary took nine minutes from B to the meeting point so from B to meeting point okay the ratio of time okay for John to Mary is 3 is to 9 which is 1 is to 3 okay now <coughs> mm. John took 12 minutes 9 plus 12 equals sorry 9 plus 3 okay equals to 12 okay John took 12 minutes for the whole journey okay if that's the case can I multiply by 12 here okay so this would be 12 okay and this would be 36 so what time would Mary reach point A so since John took 12 minutes to reach <coughs> um, since John took 12 minutes for the whole journey Mary would have taken 36 minutes so 9 a.m. you add 36 minutes you get 9 36 a.m. and that's your answer alright so you, you got A here and you got B here so this is how you attempt this question of course there, there are other ways to do it um, so just take a look at this method first, alright?